Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is which enzyme makes DNA from an RNA template? And the variant of the answer A, RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase is going to use DNA strand as template in order to make RNA. It can be structural RNA or it can be messenger RNA. And variant B, DNA polymerase is going to use DNA template strand in order to make another strand, complementary strand of the DNA. I will skip answer C for now. Variant D, replicase, we can find this enzyme in viruses, uh, specifically RNA viruses. When such virus would penetrate organism, this enzyme is going to use RNA as template strand in order to make another complementary RNA strand. And Reverse transcriptase, as you now know, is going to be our answer. We also can find in the uh, viruses, which are RNA viruses also, but this enzyme is going to use RNA as template in order to make a DNA. So this breaks central dogma of the genetics, which you probably know that we need DNA strand DNA in order to make uh, DNA template strand, in order to make messenger RNA strand. In this case, reverse transcriptase is doing exactly opposite, using messenger RNA or RNA as template in order to make second uh, DNA strand. And we can find such enzymes only in certain viruses which we call retroviruses. Next question. In forming a nucleotide, phosphorus is most often attached to the nucleoside at the carbon-5 position of the sugar. Is it true or false? Many students make a mistake. You probably get used to see pictures like this. This is double-stranded DNA, and here is the basis, adenine cytosine, guanine, and thymine. And here is a pentose sugar, which, uh, as you see, have five corners. Many of you also understand that in each corner here, we should find carbon. At the fifth corner, we have oxygen. So you falsely can come to conclusion that there is only four carbons here. But actually, take a look at this picture which show this nucleotide in more details. Again, this is adenine, what we see here, and this is pentose sugar, which is ribose. Let's count carbons. One, two, three, four, and here is the fifth carbon. Usually on simplified pictures like this, it's even not shown, but it is present here. But still, you may think that this fifth carbon is not attached to the phosphorus, but instead attached to the oxygen. But take a look. We have three groups here. One group, second, and third. And this group is called phosphorus group. So when we say attached to the phosphorus, we mean phosphorus group. And fifth carbon is attached to the phosphorus group. And this is true. And this is going to be our answer today. One more time. Base, sugar, and phosphorus group. And by the way, is it ribose or deoxyribose? On the second carbon, we see here oxygen. So this is ribose, which we can find not in the DNA, but in RNA instead. But otherwise, RNA and DNA structurally the same. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.